Hi guys, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here with a uh, finished flip through of this Peter Pan uh, journal, three ring bound that I, uh, you know, previously said I was going to do. So this is going to be the last of the three ring uh, bound journals for a while because the next book uh, journal I'm going to make is going to be a glue book, which will have a spine. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So uh, this is a vintage uh, Peter Pan Walt Disney uh, book that I made into a journal and it is let me tell you the size just because I don't I haven't put it in my shop yet by the time you see this it will be in my shop but uh so I haven't actually measured it six and a half by nine and a half basically so uh, it is ring bound has three rings I have attached eyelets in the front and the back this uh, came out real nice, but I went ahead and put some washi here. Whenever I put washi here, I do glue it down. I don't just, you know, stick the washi on there because, you know, washi does usually come off after a little bit. So I put some, I mean, most of it does. There's some that's real sticky that doesn't, but anyway, I did glue it down. And so, and I used some new, my new eyelets. I, I mentioned that I was getting new eyelets and um, that I had run out and was getting some new ones. So I want to show you the inside real quick. Pretty cool because I used, I got a little kit at, actually with the new eyelets that I ordered. And it came with, I'm going to show you. I experimented because I had never used this before. First of all, it came with the little backs. Came with the little backs, you know. I mean, I had some other eyelets. The other ones I was using had the backs too, but I never used the backs before. I really, um, I don't know, I just didn't think I could... Uh, I, I didn't think I needed them, I guess. And so I wanted to try using them. This is these little things that come with your eyelet sometimes. It's like the back of it. See that? So, yeah. Uh, I ordered on purpose a kit that came with... These are silver. It came with the silver eyelets with the backs. They all have the backs. And it came with bronze. These here. And so it came with those two packages and it came with this little um, tool for setting eyelets. And of course I have my crocodile, but uh, I kind of like didn't think, I mean the crocodile works fine. It works, it works awesome really. But with the bigger eyelets, I didn't know if it was really great with these bigger ones. So I wanted to go ahead and try this little tool. So I used these two pieces and if you want me to demonstrate these sometime, let me know because they worked awesomely. It's, it's just that I put them down on the floor and hammer. <laughs> so I don't hammer. I mean, I can hammer on my table in the middle here. It's hard enough for me to pound away on it. It wouldn't hurt my table. I have a cutting mat here. So I could do it here if you really wanted me to demonstrate these, but it worked out really well. And I felt like it just set the eyelets in the back part really well. So it actually looks like it became it almost looks like it was part of the original book you know what I mean like it just like became part of the book if you can see those there see that let me show you let me show you <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through on the camera but yeah pretty cool so I, those are on the front of the back and um, I just wanted to show you that because I had never used that little tool before and I really like how it worked I'm going to be using that for these bigger ones these bigger eyelets made a little tassel here to match um, this fabric here was some Disney fabric actually that I had left from when I was making masks. So, uh, you know, I had some scraps, so I made a little uh, tassel with this, you know, fabric scraps and I added some colors. Like here's some lavender, which he has lavender pants, Captain Hook. There's some yellow, there's not really any yellow in here, but I wanted some bright colors and some. there's some yellow in the fabric. Blue and green and orange and different blues. So I wanted it to be colorful, a little more colorful even than the fabric was because this is a colorful cover. So that just hangs over there. And uh, I think that's all about the cover. I did glue, I put uh, glue in the corners here. Uh, they're worn. This is a worn book. You know, it's not, it's 1972. So it was vintage and it's been around for a while. It was well loved, uh, but I felt like it was still worthy of being a junk journal, right? So, um, yeah, I put glue right here inside the covers 
Oh, I've done that before on video where if you want to repair the corners a little bit and make sure they're as sturdy as they can be without adding book corners, I just put a little glue on in down in there if I could get my nozzle in there. If it, if it was together enough, I didn't do that. I just put it on the outside and pushed it together to make sure that was all together as it could be, as much as it could be. So, and I say whenever I start one of these videos on my ring bound journals, the way I work with them is you take your little hinge, spin it to the back cover, spin it to the back cover where the hinge is, and you can put your take your tassel off. It's on here with a with a ball pin, or just spin it to the back and put it up like this, so it's out of your way like that. Okay, then you can open this up, and you have freedom. You have this way you have your openings where you open your hint your rings right here so as you're working in your journal see they're always right there as you're turning your pages you can open up and rearrange and do whatever you want to do you don't have to keep spinning things around <laughs> to get the uh, opening where you want it just do that when you start and you're, you're good to go right and plus the hinge is a little thicker so it doesn't get in the way of you turning the pages it's, it's awesome so I did something a little different. You know, I really have fun with making these journals. All of them. I had fun with all of them. I kind of, as I had different ideas and, and I went ahead and tried it. So on this one, I, um, uh, actually it wasn't even my idea. It was, I believe Gardena from uh, Handmade with Gardena. If that was you, I think it was you. I should have looked it up before the video, but I think you mentioned if it wasn't you, if it was somebody else, let me know in the comments. But I think it was Gardena that said, how about, unless it was Christina, anyway, one of you guys <laughs> said, how about a plastic co co um, pocket? I think it was Gardena. But uh, I said I didn't want to cover up the inside because it's so cool. And whoever it was said, how about a plastic clear you know, pocket? I was like, oh yeah, how about that? That's an awesome idea. So I decided in this one, I was again, I didn't want to cover up this awesome, let me show you awesome inside pages of the original book so I did go and find I have perfectly clear like I could have put perfectly clear in here but I found this plastic here that I thought was so cool I think it might be laminating paper I don't know it has little squares on it, and I was like well that is cool and different so I decided to do that and I just glued it down with art glitter glue and made a pocket there a little plastic pocket and these are the goodies in this pocket this is a tag that I had in my stash it um, has the it has kind of an ocean theme, which, you know, um, Peter Pan hangs out on the boat a lot. So <laughs> I figured it went with this journal. And this is um, just a, <laughs> you know, I find kind of, you know, little bits of ephemera at the thrift store. And this is a carry-on baggage luggage tag <laughs> that you can have fun with. It has even has the original string on there. I think it is it stretchy. Yes, yeah, a little bit stretchy still. But I tucked that in. I'm trying to let go of some of my... You know, things that are just, you know, I have only one of those. So, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to let go of something when you just have one of them. One of them. Anyway, uh, it says 97 on there. So it's from 1997, it looks like. This is uh, actually a, well, this says 2002. This is a little envelope from a Clue game. I only have one of those, too. It says confidential. If you recognize, if you play ever played Clue, you might recognize this little brown envelope. So that's another fun thing I parted with. To put in here and as ephemera so as we turn the page this is the original first page I have all the original pages in here the story is in order and I just put all the stuff I put in in between so I use a lot of pretty scrapbook papers this is some more of that fish uh, paper that I used to make that tag that I just showed you this is a piece of that and on here on this side I made a pocket and put some things in here this is just a little like drawing card I made out of a brown envelope that had this um, kind of lines and things on it. This is another tag made out of that fish paper and it has a little key tag on there. A little bit of yarn there, a twine. And this is some tickets that I had received in Happy Mail that I thought you could have fun with. There's some brown tickets. So tickets are always fun, right? Um, I have a few pieces of ledger paper in here. Here's the original title page. The copyright's right here, 1972, um, scrapbook paper. So I tried to put like neutral uh, scrapbook paper in here. So this could be for anyone. 
young or old, right? <laughs> Boys, girls, women, maybe not men, but I guess a man could use it if he likes if he's a, if he's a Peter Pan fan. But anyway, I, that was my um, thoughts when I was I was uh, putting things together here. So this is ledger paper that I have from a big ledger that um, had writing on it. So you'll see if you get this journal, you'll see there's a little some numbers here. But lots of writing space, too, or whatever you wanted to. Space to do whatever. A bingo card. Page from the book. There he is. Peter Pan. And pretty scrapbook papers. There's a couple here. This is a post-it or like a, you know, sticky note that you can move around. So it's stuck on here, but you can, it's not glued down or anything. You can move that around. So it's writing space. And then you have all this space. You know, you can leave it there as a flip-up if you wanted to. You have all that space. Here's just a little kind of um, writing space there. This is, um, I put a few of these in here in different sizes and did different things with them, but this is a the index page, one of the index pages from my Vintage Atlas. So I love these columns and numbers and things here on these. So I put, I didn't want to, I kind of did something different because I've been kind of cutting them down and I decided to make this one. See how what, this is not, this is even cut down a little bit, I think. Uh, from the original, but I decided to leave this as a flip out. I have a few flip outs that I did in here in this one, a few more than others. Peter Pan and scrapbook paper. Here's a little post it or a sticky note there. A guest check, some kids' writing paper. There's two pieces here. I like to put you know a variety of sizes in here too, I think that makes it more fun. This is um, from the Atlas, also that same Atlas, it's a matte page. That's a fold out. Bridge score pad, uh, scrapbook paper. See how that's kind of neutral. <laughs> There's some neutral in here. Uh, Peter Pan and scrapbook paper. And graph. This is a divider card, a big one. It's a great opportunity to use those in these bigger journals. And the scrapbook paper. This is a Curious George card. Uh, this is only the second one I parted with. I got these from Maria who sent these to me. And I have a few that I'm saving for <laughs> maybe a Curious George journal one day, but I thought I'd go ahead and, you know, I like to put fun stuff in here. And so it fit in here so perfectly, right? So I went ahead and put one in here. It's a great writing space. And here's some more of that ledger. And this one actually had a receipt on it that I left on there. It's a Peter Pan book, scrapbook paper, an envelope. You can see it's like a blank journal, and this could be a good, good uh, glue book too because it's a, got a lot of blank pages in here to decorate, to glue on, whatever you want to do. This is a tag, journaling card slash bookmark, whatever. It's map scrapbook paper that's cardstock. This is a little, um, I'm not going to open it up, but it unties and you can open it up and there's room in here to write or glue something in there, whatever you might want to do. It's made from a big brown envelope that was um, given to the thrift store, I guess, by the schools around here. I guess they didn't use them anymore. They were never used, but they were very cool. Ledger. So this book. This is the fish paper, but I cut. I, this was like a piece that I had cut down. Actually, this was going to be a page, and I messed up on the holes. So I had to cut it down, and this is what was left. So I made it into a little page, and it's actually a flip out, too. This paper was bought. This was given to me, this fish paper, fish and turtles. And it was bought singly. See this? It has 59 cents on there. So you can glue this down and make a pocket. You can cut this off. You can cover it up, whatever you want to do. I'm just letting you know that's there. Graph paper. This was a cool paper. I was looking through my maps, my actual, not my atlases, but my actual maps. And I have some travel guides in there. I found this pretty bird in the ocean here. And I thought, oh, that would be so fun to put in here. The lady on here is walking through a field of flowers. So I just thought that was pretty paper. I thought... Why not? So you can see this is onion skin. There's a big postcard, giant one really. I had two of those and I put one in here and one in one of the other ring bound journals that I did recently. Scrapbook paper, uh, that ledger. That's This one has a, numbers on this side and a lot of writing over here, I guess, the different um, maybe bill, vendors or bills that they paid. I see Duke Power, that's the um, electric company here in North Carolina. So yeah, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is a airmail envelope that I made and it is clipped on here with a little 
Bull dog clip there, scrapbook paper. Kids writing, Atlas that is a fold out. That's Peter Pan. Uh, scrapbook paper and ledger. This is from a kid's dictionary, you know, like little golden book encyclopedia dictionary type of thing. Uh, Peter Pan, this is some blue lined paper. Scrapbook, I did put a paper bag in this one. I didn't do that in any of the others. I just had the urge, so I did it. This is Coca-Cola Bear here. And I just, um, it was longer. I had to cut a little piece off and I put it in the goodie bag so you can make a pocket out of it if you want it or something, whatever you want to do with it. But there's a couple of things in here. I put tall things in here so they were easily uh, accessible. So I have in here, let's see, you can grab them right here because I wanted to be able to grab them easily. Uh, let's see, I've got my, there we go. So um, yeah, I got a envelope in here which I made from a printable. I had coffee dyed it uh, before I, let's see. I'm trying to think how this happened. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, however it happened, it's an envelope. Maybe, oh, I must have printed it. Uh, it's getting a little confusing because it looks like a regular envelope. Anyway, however I got it, I must, I think I made it out of a printable. I had coffee dyed this side. And right here, you can put a label on here or anything and decorate this and have fun with it. So I don't know. I don't know exactly. It was a while ago. It was in my ephemera stash and that's my story and I'm sticking to it that, <laughs> on that one. So this is a bookmark that I had picked up. It looks like a ruler. Isn't it cute? Uh, that's from a thrift store, of course. Everything in here is from a thrift store, except, except for what I've told you maybe that I printed like that envelope type of thing. So writing paper. Here I just clipped on. This is one of those plastic vintage Vintage plastic uh, paper clips, just paper clipped on some tickets. Uh, that's the index there, ledger. You can see I put a lot of pages in here. I just kind of got carried away <laughs> with the paper. So um, this is going to be the same price as my other ring bound journals, but it really should be a lot more because I put a lot more in it, but I'm not going to do that. I told myself when I started these ring bound journals that they were all going to be the same price. And I'm going to stick to that. So this is a little my little plastic pocket. In this one, I've put one, I think, in every one now. And uh, I put a journaling card. It's it's a double. It's got a little divider in the middle. It's got a journaling ca card here. And I'm not going to take them out, but a journaling card here. They're double-sided. So you can see if you get this journal, you get to see what's on the other side. But, yeah, those are two journaling cards. This is a little... Um, uh, this is... I dyed this. This is composition book paper. And I dyed it green with food coloring. And I see I didn't put anything in here. Let me see if I can grab something real quick in this. I like to put something in every pocket. Let me see what I have. I have, uh, oh gosh, I've, I've kind of cleaned up a little bit already, but I'll put a, I need to put a flower in here after I said it was neutral. So let me see. Let me put an extra, oh, here's something. Let me put one of my handmade Rolodex cards in here. Let me see if I have one that's neutral. <laughs> Uh, I have I have put some of these in. Oh, this is something you can use as a tag here. And oh, here's a little just a. Oh, that's floral. I don't want to put a floral in there. Uh, this is just uh, from a file folder. It's kind of paisley looking, so it's not necessarily girly, even though it has pink on there. So I'll put that in there too. Maybe a girl will look at this. We'll see. But yeah, two, two, I put two little cards in there. Okay, we're good to go. This one's a composition book paper too. I did a little fold out here. And this is blue, blue dyed with food, blue food coloring. Blue lined paper. This is the index car, um, page from the Atlas. This is more of that beautiful matte paper. It's so pretty. And this is the Little Golden Book Dictionary. You know, all the pages from Peter Pan. So, yep. Basically, you know, you've seen, this is just kind of a duplicate of what you've already seen here except for and this is the back so I, you know this is the original back page I left it there to go with the back cover of course and then this is the plastic clear plastic pocket on the back I did the same thing and just put some this is a flash card playing card and playing card I put in here some colorful ones to go with the fun uh, you know Peter Pan Disney theme. So that is the journal. 
I'm going to show you real quick what is in here. This is a goodie bag that matches uh, as best as I could the, uh, the journal. Let's see which way is up here. And this way is up. I just put a lot of stuff in here. I was like, oh my goodness, Sherry, you are just getting carried away with this. Because <laughs> I was going to put more in here. I was like, okay, I can't really get any more in there type of thing. So um, all the scraps, all the scraps are in here. I'm going to put, make a little pile of scraps. There's a library pocket. I had put some cardstock on the back of this one. A little label, flash card. Here's some more flash cards, different sized flash cards. Oh, this was in with my flash cards. And I guess you were supposed to make one yourself if you needed, a, needed an extra one. So that's blank. This is a ticket from the planetarium. Uh, I think this is in, I think this is in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm not sure. It doesn't say, but I think it is. So anyway, I thought that was a cool little piece of ephemera. Oh, I got two little library pockets in here. All right, that's okay. <laughs> you can have two. Uh, envelope that I made from an old book page. The, um, hello, my name is labels. You can always glue those down and use them for drawing spaces or whatever to decorate something. Maybe that envelope that needed something to cover up that part. Here's some little labels, colorful, for, you know, the whole colorful Disney thing going on in this journal. Some more red and white labels, a big t luggage tag that you can decorate. I've been putting these colorful reinforcements in every one in case you want to use those for protections or just use them for fun, you know. This is a vintage postage uh, sticker label. And we've got... I put lots of notes. I went through all my little notepads that I have in this certain area and I pulled one off of each. So this is like apples. I'll go through them real quick here. That's a pretty dotted one. This is from a teacher that I got from her estate sale. That one I think might have been from the teacher too. Thrift store. It says mom note. This is a recipe card. A paint chip, chip sample. <laughs> a someday note piece. Um, this is a little receipt that I took off of the ledger paper. I had to cut it down and this piece was cut off so I went ahead and put in here. Just I told you I put all the scraps in here so it was kind of I either put it in here or put it in my scraps or put it in the trash so I put it in here. <laughs> this is the piece from the bag I told you I cut off so you can make a little pocket or something out of this. It has little Coca-Cola bottles on it. Uh, that scraps Look, at, I even put these. These were so pretty, I couldn't throw them away. They're from the map, from the Vintage Atlas. So I put those in there. A piece of the ledger with the writing on it. Just some little six by six scrapbook papers that I have. I put a couple pieces in there, colorful ones. Coin rollers, Rolodex card that I made from a file folder. Uh, little index cards that I like to chop in half. I love these little, I love them when they're cut in the half. They're so cute. <laughs> And little, just, these are some scrap, little scrappy, I call them little scrappy journaling spots. This one was, that was a file folder. This is just paper. Uh, this is scrapbook paper, like cardstock. This is a little ticket. This is a blue Rolodex card. This is a community chess monopoly card. This is a little tag. And here's another little, just some little tags from my stash. And that is it, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I had fun making this and uh, will be in my shop when you see it. Um, when you see and, you know, I tend to uh, finish these before I get to publish the video. You know what I mean? Like I have another video or two already scheduled. Just a, just a tip in case you're looking to get any of my journals. My, you know, the ones I'm just finishing here. And I tend to go ahead and put them in my shop before you even see the video, just, you know, FYI, because, um, you know, I just, that's how I've been doing it. I just like to get things done. I don't want to, you know, delay. So, you know, I just don't have a lot of time, so I just get it done. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just get it done. So, um, yeah, I'm just saying I put them in my shop before I, you see the video. So, there, if it's gone when you see the video, that's why, because I... Either somebody went over there right away when they saw the video or they may even have gotten it before the video even published. So I do the best I can. So I hopefully that's okay with you guys. And uh, this is a chunky one. This is a chunky one, guys. This is this is a good starter journal, a good little gift for Christmas for someone or 
birthday or uh, get someone started on journaling a friend adult or kid wise so <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you like this one here's my glue book i'm going to turn this guy into a isn't this cute this is going to be the perfect glue book i love it the size you can just look at the pages in here some of these pages will go in but then i'll put all the the gluey book type pages in here it's going to be fun i'm going to put a bigger spine on here so i'll be doing some of this process um, especially the cover and then you know go from there and see what I put on on YouTube but um, this is going to be the next one thanks for watching today hope you guys have a great day I'll see you in my next video take care happy crafting